How to use Clockify Clockify time tracking software tutorial for beginners Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you around Clockify. Clockify is an amazing time tracking software used by millions. There are different features and tools that you can avail to track your time and for your time management. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Clockify.me and you will land on this platform right here. Clockify has a lot of features for you such as time tracking, reporting, management and others to help you get more productive and save your time. You can also manage your teams with Clockify and the best thing is that Clockify is free forever. There are unlimited users, unlimited tracking and unlimited projects available for you to use. How to get started with Clockify? The process is super easy. You will simply click on sign up for free and you will be able to sign up for Clockify. You can simply sign up with your email address, set up a password or you can use your Google account. I'm going to continue with my Google account to log into my Clockify. After the initial sign up, this is the dashboard that you will get. This is my Clockify right here and I have all of these different features. Let me show you around. So this is the basic dashboard and in here we have the option of time tracker, calendar, dashboard, reports. In reports, I will get summary, detailed, weekly and shared. Then we have projects, team, clients, tags and settings. Let's go ahead and check out the time tracker option because this is where I can simply go ahead and add a task and then track time. This is the option that we get right away and we can simply start tracking our time just in a minute. So all you have to do is just simply add your task name. Let's call it marketing task. Now I will simply select the project that I have on Clockify. Well, as a beginner, you will not have any project. So to create a new project, what you have to do is simply click right here. Now you have to add a new project name. Let's call it project. Then I will select the color for my project. This is a public project. I have to select a client. Let's add a new client right here. Now I can select a template as well if I want to. But for now, I'm going to leave this option. Simply click on create a new project will be created right here and then I will be able to select that project from here. I have two other projects as well project X and video editing but I have selected the project Z for my client Alex for this project right here. Now I can add different tags as well. So I have created a tag known as YouTube. To add a new tag, you will simply click right here and let's say that you want to add a new tag known as simply click right here, create new tag and a new tag will be created. So the tag is new and YouTube. So I'm going to select both of these. Then we have this option right here, which allows us to add the billable and non billable hours. So this is going to be billable. And now all I have to do is simply click on start and I will be able to track time. You can see right here now the time is being tracked. All I have to do is to stop the time is simply click right here on stop and this project will be added right here. You can see right here this is the time and now I can add the date as well. There you go. To continue the task all I have to do is simply click right here and then it will start again. Let's click on stop. So this is the week total right here. And then I will be able to check all of my tasks right here. And then we have the calendar view right here that allows us to check our different tasks right here in our calendar. I have calendar, week and day. I can also add a new task right here in my calendar option. This is this week. I can also go with yesterday and last week as well. Then we have our main dashboard right here. I will be able to get access to the insights. You can see right here. So I have a top project known as Project Z that I just created and the client name was Alex. This is how I worked on this project right here. When I will work throughout the week, then I will be able to get access to the insight in the form of a bar graph. 
I will also get a pie chart right here so that I will have a better idea. Then we have the report option right here. Report allows us to check the billing option right here. And this is going to be the billing insight to my different task. I can also filter my search by theme, client, project, task, tag, status, and description. To apply a filter, let's go with client. And I'm going to select my client right here, Alec. With task, we can go with select all and apply filter. So you can see right here, this is my billable R that I just created, right? And this is again a pie chart for me for my task. Then we have our project option right here. In here, I will be able to create a new project. To create a new project, all you have to do is simply click right here and enter a project name. Now I will select the color and select client. Let's add a new client right here. You can see right here, a new project has been created. If I want to get access to any of the projects and check the insights, I can simply click on the project and it will open up the task, access, status, notes and project settings in here i can add different access status and notes for myself this is really impressive that we get all of these different tools and features on clockify after that i can go to teams right here and in here i can simply create a team to add a new member i will simply enter their email address simply click on i'm not a robo and send an invite you will click on this add option and you will be able to send an invite to this member right here and they will simply join the team. This way I can simply add as many members as I want to. Then we have groups where I can divide my team members into different groups. Then of course we have reminders. The client option allows us to add different clients. We have already added different clients but again simply click on add and you will be able to add a new client right here. And then you will be able to edit their name. Then we have the tag option in here where I can simply click on add and I will be able to add a new tag. Let's go with PC. Okay, so this is my new tag for my videos. And then of course we have settings where I will be able to get my general settings, permissions, alerts, accounts, authentication, custom fields, integrations and import. In import, I will be able to import my different data such as my clients, project and task. And in integrations, I will be able to integrate any of these different softwares, such as Shira, Google Calendars, and Outlook Calendar as well. So Clockify is not just a time tracker, but all in one platform with a lot of different features and tools. And it has made time tracking very easy for us and allows us to manage our tasks and projects very efficiently. You can simply go ahead and sign up for Clockify right now and get your own dashboard. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to use Clockify. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.